All you the got stuff. rid of the Porsche. Yeah. So now you got a McLaren. Nice. So now you need a new keychain. Yeah. <laughs> so. There goes Cat Pick. Here's the horns. Okay. Whoa. Where you go? Yeah, hell no. Nah, 30 b hell, God damn it. So what are your first impressions about, bro? Man, <laughs> this is crazy. I thought I was going to fly out this Man. Cameras, camera don't do this justice, bro. This right here is nasty, bro. Hell catch fat boats, but this is gonna go. Oh god, this is too fast, bro. I'm a screaming like a girl in this hole. <laughs> That's the problem I have, it's addictive. It is. When I put in the McLaren, I want to see how people are gonna react because that doesn't have all this rapping going on, but yeah. these people have never seen that, you know? Yeah, exactly. So they're gonna be like, what the fuck is that shit? This guy's yeah. a spaceship. 70 miles an hour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, hell no, hell no. Yeah. Oh god, that man, this car is good, bro. It's it's tucked to the ground. Man, hell no. On the track is fun too. Man, here we go. It's your boy Scott Leonard, and I'm about to make a huge move today. Three years of having the 718 Spider. We are at McLaren of Orlando. I mean, something crazy is about to happen. I brought AJ along with me. Hell yeah. Today's gonna be a pretty big day for me. Finally getting the car. As I promised, the brand new car here, McLaren 570S. It has about 4,000 miles on the odometer, so this thing is almost brand new. Doors go up, guys. We all know what happens when doors go up. You know, it drops. And then it's a spider because you guys know I love the convertibles. I looked at a lot of different cars, but I really do like this spec. All black, Alcantara seats with the orange stitching. Orange stitching on the steering wheel, leather. There is a lot of Alcantara in this car too. This is beautiful spec. Big things are coming for the channel. Now we're really in that big league. Sorry to all the Porsche fanboys. I warned you guys. I said I was going to do it. In fact, that video got so much hate. You see the comments on that video? Oh, the Reddit story is crazy. Like 2,000 comments of just hate. I stumbled upon it on accident. To all you haters and to all you Porsche fanboys that were talking crazy in the comments thought I wasn't gonna do it. Here we are. Here we are. Yo, dude, don't be afraid to smile, bro. You over here trying to keep a uh, straight face, bro. I do feel excited. This thing is next level. And I just keep need a little model, wing, bro. yeah. There's no discussion about is it a supercar? Is it not a supercar? No debates. Salvage title or something. Like, no, dude. Brand new almost. Hey, man, don't hate on the salvage titles. I get the I, salvage I, I'm not hating on them, but like, it just has the harnesses and everything. Saw that on the McLaren website, they're leasing these now for 1500 a month. Uh, I gotta ask him. I'll ask 50, him in a second. 60, yeah. It was only 2500 miles a year. Really don't like the way, the way they look on the back. No, I like the back. It just, maybe a wing. The back is not my cup of tea, but that front look at the screen it's like a floating screen versus the previous generation it looks pretty modern 316 and the comments i want you guys to give me your honest opinion do you think i made a mistake getting this car versus waiting and getting a 600 uh, look no, at that dude. not at all not at all i mean there's not that much of a difference between these two no cars, other than the exhaust yeah it looks wise what i want to get is that's the carbon fiber back this one's carbon fiber right oh yeah the whole thing's carbon fiber the whole end yeah. of this car is carbon are these panels plastic what? I don't know. Are these plastic? Or aluminum or whatever? Like plastic. <laughs> he said <laughs> plastic, well but this ain't no Saturn. <laughs> I'm in here feeling like Josh Arant, bro. You know, as time goes on, your dream car like advances. So this next stop, a year, two years, Lambo. One more perk of getting a new McLaren. Merch. Let me pick out two shirts. I already got a hoodie that I bought at one of the events. Maybe one of these. Get this, McLaren Formula One. Grab my merch. I, think yeah, I, already bu I bought one of these already, that's the thing. I was about to say, didn't you already buy one? I bought one of these hoodies, but it was the one that has the gray stuff on the sides. That hoodie's huge. It looked smaller yeah. when we was out there, but it was too hot to be having a hoodie on anyway. You should be trying to get the cars, like, not just photograph other people's cars. That's how I feel. That's how I started. Like, I saw cars, watched some videos online, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to figure out how to get a car. I saved up my money for a few months. I bought the Miata, and then I got a better job. I bought that, and now I have this, bro. Like, it's just... That's a huge jump, though. Fuck. <laughs> Well, that is a huge jump. it is a huge jump, but you did it though. <laughs> I got a carbon fiber hood coming from Australia, so you're not going to see that part from six months now. I'm replacing this hood with a carbon fiber hood. Some they don't make a lot of carbon fiber hoods for these golfs. Yeah. So I had to get it from Australia. I got new headlights coming in, but I'm not going to install them because I drive too much. And the reason why it's messed up because of rock chips. I got a new front lip, rear diffuser. I got a side skirt. The car is tuned by APR, making around like 380 something to the wheels. 
speed. Just a nice daily. I need to get something like but that. But this car is going to be next to the GTR probably by the end of the year because now that he done bought that, I'm ready to say screw it and just get the GTR now. This just proves that if you put the effort in and you do the work, that you can do whatever you want, bro. There's no limits to this game. Like, I started out with a Miata. Jumped from the Miata to this car. When I said I was going to get this car, I told several people, like, oh, I want to get a GT4. And they were like, oh... That's expensive, dude. You might not be able to afford that car. And I was like, I'm gonna get it. And then I went and I got the fucking Spider. And I showed those haters that I could do it. Now I have this car. And for the longest, I was like, I wanna get another car. I told, I big, sometimes I make the mistake of oversharing. I told several people like, oh, I wanna get another car. And they kind of looked at me with skepticism. Like, oh yeah, this guy's just talking. He's talking out of his ass. Cause you know, when you keep saying the thing, same thing for like six, seven months, people start thinking like you're bullshitting. Like, but it's not that I'm bullshitting. It's that I'm trying to make a good decision and get the best deal I can. So I waited. But about a year, maybe a year since the first time you heard me say I wanted to get another car. And now, now there's the other car. And it's almost new. This car has 4,000 miles on it. And it's funny, it's like the most haters that like, I see is people who grew up with money. I ain't grew up oh, with no well, freaking yeah. money. I ain't, so, do that, I got three cars right now. I got three of my high school dream cars. The fourth one, it's probably might be the end of the year now. Yeah. And that's it, I'm done. I don't right. even want no more cars. I just wanted to achieve the crap that I wanted to achieve. The thing I, is... Now nah, look at you, you got it in blue too. Yeah. Oh, and it man. looks good outside, bro. The thing is that the people, and I'm not trying to hate on anyone, don't get me wrong, I have nothing against anyone, but I'm gonna say it. Guys who have money, they don't understand how difficult it is. Like, if you're just some kid who whose parent pays for everything and they throw the fucking Lambo at you, they throw the McLaren at you, you don't understand like the difficulty. Like for me, this was like impossible five years ago, man. I cannot believe I'm getting this car. And now it's up to me to step up my game even more. If you was yeah. to rent. So, uh, oh shoot, all you this got stuff. rid of the Porsche. Yeah. So now you got a McLaren. Nice. So now you need a new keychain. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I'll let you swap that over. Okay. Um, I did take off the Porsche key, but you're good to go. And okay. now we'll go over your car so that way we can yeah. get everything going. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. This is crazy, man. Come on. Driving next to each other. Owner's manual. Is there a gold? No gold looks. <laughs> Registration? <laughs> Real super gold. <laughs> key, there's a pouch there okay. that'll have the key. Second key is going to be here with the owner's manual. You take okay. that when you get home. Have you hold the brake and press this, hold this stuff button. Let's push it down. Good to go. Safety mechanism where if by any chance you tap it and you don't start it, it'll try to start and shut off. You okay. do that twice the computer will automatically have to be reset, which means opening your door, closing it, okay. and then starting the car. The reason McLaren does that is for people who don't know how to drive these vehicles okay. or shouldn't be in these vehicles, at that point won't have to go. Control in one area, you just press it. Navigation button is there, same thing on the screen. Your settings, your mute, your Siri, Back button, Navigation is something that comes with the car included, or is yep. it? Yep. You can't even see the screen. <laughs> yeah. You should have left where you left it correct. So press it up. There you go. And it's so rising. Once the car turns solid. So, hey, what's up? Just got the brand new car. First day with it. I'm gonna say. At first I was hesitant and I'm kind of regretting not having made this decision earlier because the car is sick. I've had so much fun just driving from the dealership home. Today me and my buddy are going to go out try and make some videos for you guys. Stay tuned and I appreciate all the help, all the support. That's what led me to make this decision and I want to just say I appreciate it and stay tuned because videos are going to be getting much better from here on out. Thank you.